Hey guys! Hello! Bonjour and welcome to part three. I hope you liked the little intro. Um, how cool was it to dress up for once? It was nice to dress up, right. gotta say, and hope we made some smiles. Come on them beautiful faces of yours right. through these tough times. Yeah, and also we keep making these videos thanks to you guys because the feedback is uh, it's quite cool, so we keep doing them, kind of come up with different ideas. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it goes. However, this week we did promise you in particular, or we did mention two things. Um, we did say we have a couple of things to do, and Leila promised you some tips. But uh, let's first find out what it is we had to do. All right, guys. We did say we have a couple of things to do ourselves this weekend. Yes, we did. It is the Easter weekend, which means we have a bit of extra time off. So four days here for yep. us. Correct. Yeah. And we're going to divide this into little parts as you're about to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide into three parts. Mm -hmm. The stuff that you want to do. Yeah. The stuff I want to do and the stuff that we got to do together. So mm -hmm. a little um, chart, let's say we have three pieces here and here. So I'm going to put you where you are sat. I'm going to put me where I am sat, that makes perfect sense. And then we're going to put us in the middle. You like that, um, don't you? What do you want to do this uh, weekend? Okay, for me, I'm just going to write down one thing. For me, I want to revamp my website. This is my high priority. So pimping up my website. Cool. Um, so I have two, three little things, which I hate because there's the little things that are always being pushed back. I would like to sell some of the stuff that we found in the cellar. So that means taking pictures, writing descriptions and putting it out there. So another thing is this one here uh, organized some beautiful Japanese knives for me. I love to cook. Two of them need sharpening. So I'm going to put that on the to-do list. Sharpen knives. Was there a number three? Did you write it down in your phone on your to-do list? No. There was a third one. Let's merge our to-dos. We're going to do the spring clean in parts because one, I cannot be bothered to be inside all day with this beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. Number yeah. two, it takes a lot of work. Even yeah. though the littlest of things, as in, I don't know, bedroom, living room, which we keep clean quite a bit. So what are we going to do? It's a bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. Bedroom. And then living, living room. room. We should leave it And then time. whatever we do on top is a bonus. The next thing that requires both of us is the home office, the DIY home office. We've done half of it, now I just need to do the second one, and that's for this weekend as well. No? Perfect, yeah. Is there anything else that we can think of? A lot of cooking going on this weekend. See ya. Ciao, ciao. Right, just came back from the workout, and I just remembered the third thing on my to-do list, and that is to organize my toolbox. Years ago I bought it new toolbox and I need to organize all the stuff from the old toolbox in the new toolbox. So I'm going to write this down quickly. So I have a bit of a photographic memory so I would have eventually just like I did now remembered it. However I could have saved myself the trouble if only I did what Layla said and written it down. So I'm just going to leave it at that. She will never know. All right guys so I've done one thing off my to-do list. Let's have a look. Hang on, wait. That wasn't on yesterday. Did you put another thing on the list? No, it was on there yesterday. No, it wasn't. Yeah, you, it was. you wrote two things down. No, it was. It was there. No, it wasn't. Well, I'm going to tick off my thing. DIY home office. But that was not there. That wasn't there, was it? If it's any relief for you, I haven't ticked anything off yet, so I have a bit of things to do, a couple of things to do. Of course she was going to find out. He wrote two things down and all of a sudden three things popped up. This is where we try. 
anyways. As I promised you on the last video, I want to show you some home office DIY setups that you can try out at home. Exercises, tips and tricks, roll the camera. So guys, here are a few tips that you can do to build up your own DIY home office while we're working from home. And there's some exercises that you can do also while you're working from home. So guys, the seating position of home office. We're going to use what we have around us. So the key is your screen eye level. Okay, it's quite hard to do when you've got a low table, your normal eating table. So I've just picked some stuff around to try and elevate my laptop. So there's gonna be a box, a little box underneath. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, it's not directly my eye level, but it's as high, high as I want it to be and comfortable to be. Eye level with the laptop, good. And if you can, try and keep your wrists nice and straight as well. So we've got our laptop set up correctly or as comfortable as possible for a home office. What I would like you to do is to think about your body position, okay? A lot of us have a tendency to lean forward, okay? So what I want you to think about is to pull your shoulders back. It's like you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together, okay? Again, important to have your stomach engaged. What this means is really squeeze your stomach muscles, okay? So this will help to have a nice, strong core. So think again, shoulders back, strong core. All right, if you don't have any boxes or anything to elevate your laptop, what you can do is, if you have a chair that goes up and down, try and get it on a nice low level, okay? This will also help you to have a nice straight neck when you're watching your laptop. If you have something else like a yoga ball, known as a pregnancy ball, this will also help you to have a nice strong core when you're working on your laptop at home. One more thing to think about when you're sitting on your chair or your yoga ball is to try and keep your weight evenly distributed through your hips instead of sitting to one side, leaning, or a lot of people sit on one foot like this, this sends your posture in the wrong direction. So really think about a nice even weight through your hips. And again, shoulders back, core nice and tight. Okay, so we've gone through a potential setup for your home office now. What we could do now is a few exercises to help improve our posture and stay nice and strong in the core. So first exercise, what you could do Slowly circle your shoulders back, okay? This will help to open your chest and really think about squeezing them shoulder blades together. So you could do this 10 to 15 times. You can do this when you're on a Skype call or something or when you're reading something on your screen. Nice big circles. Take your time with it. You've got no rush. Okay, so we've got a second potential exercise that you could do. What I would like you to do, you're going to bring your elbows forward and bring them back, forward and back. And what this will do, this will help to open the chest again and bring your shoulders forward. All right, your third exercise, something what we can do, you're going to grab the back of the chair. If you have a back of a chair, if not, you can always use yourself with this. What I want you to do to grab Nicely stretch each side of your body. Grab and stretch. Again, try and think about having a nice straight back. It's like you've got a rope up above your head. You're pulling your spine up. And what this will do is nicely rotate your spine ever so gently. You can also control the force on how hard or how little you pull. A potential fourth exercise that you could do is you're going to put your arms nice and straight and it's you're slowly climbing up okay so what i want you to do is just reach up with one arm and bring it a little down reach and down reach and down and what this will do it will stretch nicely all down the side of your body so now we have the fifth exercise so what i would like you to do 
is you're going to point your toes and flex them. This is plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. As ballet dancers know this, it's good toes and naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes, good toes, naughty toes. And what this will do, this will relieve any potential pain in your feet. Circles as well, rotate your feet outwards. Again, 10 to 15 times and then rotate your feet inwards. So your sixth exercise, what you can do is, because a lot of people we sit with 90 degree angle in the knee, so what I'd like you to just straighten your legs as far forward as possible, lift your legs and bring them back. Straighten, extension at the knees, point your toes and bring back. So guys, I hope this DIY home office sitting setup helped you, give you some uh, little ideas for you at home during the isolation times. And now I'm going to show you my preferred home office DIY setup, which is a standing setup. All right, let's go. All righty. So guys, like I said before, the standing position for me when I'm working is my preference, okay? Because in my day-to-day -day life, I'm always on my feet on the go. When I sit down, it just makes me super tired. So for me, standing up. If you have a breakfast bar at home or an island in your kitchen, great. Take advantage of it and use it, okay? For those of you that don't have a breakfast bar or an island at home, I'm gonna show you a little bit of DIY desk that you can have for your home office. All right, let's have a look. All right, guys, so you may laugh, Ooh. you may laugh, but your temporary home office, your home desk, it could be an ironing board. Yes, have a giggle, have a laugh, but we're gonna put up our ironing board. Mm, okay, it's a little too low for me, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some boxes or whatever you have lying around at home to raise your ironing board up. One box. For me, it's still a little low, so we're going to get it up a little higher. All right. So, for me, that looks pretty much perfect. I'm gonna put the laptop on just to see about the height. And what I did say is technically the screen should be eye level. It is a little low, but the thing is, I feel comfortable at this height. I feel as though I could stand here for quite a while with my laptop. I think I'm good. So guys, we've got all our temporary desk set up. We're going to go through a few exercises that we could potentially do. A lot is similar to what we did sitting down. So don't forget, you've got your shoulders, your shoulder circles forward and back with your elbows. You're reaching up to the sky. And then we have our hip circles, right and left, and you've got side to side. And also we did some with our feet. Some additional exercises that we could also do, we want to really open our hip flexors, okay? So I want you to take a step back and you're going to lean ever so slightly back and you'll feel a nice stretch in this hip, okay? But be careful not to arch your back too much, keep your back nice and straight and just come a little more back, nice stretch. Hold it for a few seconds, let's say 10 generous seconds. So you're gonna do that both ways. If you want, you can put your hands on your hips and slowly push back, a nice stretch, okay? Another potential exercise, what you could do, because people will feel it in their back, you can roll down very slowly, very, very slowly. And you can also feel each vertebra going down, down and you come up, up, up. Okay, you can do this a few times. It feels really good, but don't stand up too fast because you might get a little dizzy, okay? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Another exercise that you could also do is when you're also down here, give yourself a few little bounces, very light bounces. You'll feel this in the hamstring, 
as well because when we sit down a lot our muscles will start to get shorter okay so you'll feel quite tense there so now we've got our table sit and um, set up we've got to think about our body position okay because we can or may tend to go left and right and obviously this doesn't look good and it's not good for your posture okay so it's quite similar to when we sit down think about pinning your shoulder blades back have a nice tight core and have your weight evenly distributed through both feet okay don't lean left and right to be honest i've got that tendency as well i've got to remind myself okay stand nice and straight okay shoulders back nice tight core voila so guys, I hope these little tips helped you um, to make your own DIY home office. Obviously, I know it's not a long-term thing, but we're literally just using everything that we have around at home. Hope you can grab some tips from that and um, see you later. Thank you guys. So Leila's tips definitely helped me working from home. I caught him every now and again doing some hip circles. Yeah, a little stretching every now and again definitely helped. We did, however, still have a couple of things on the to-do list. Here's how it went. This is a whole bunch of stuff that I have actually... Some of the stuff I've never touched, really. Take it off the list. Taking advantage of your little DIY desk, are we? Yes, I am. It's actually really good, I've got to say. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> All right. And while Layla's working on her website, I will sort out my toolbox as I promised. Now, when we sorted the cellar, I found this bad boy and he's looking very empty as you can see so that needs sorting meanwhile i have been using this somewhat mickey mouse toolbox and as you can see this is a complete mess and a clean job deserves a clean workspace or an organized toolbox in that perspective i um We'll take the time to sort this out. Shouldn't take me that long. In fact, I think I can do it in more or less three, two, one. Voila, it's done. It's that easy. With a little help of editing magic. <laughs> um, this bad boy is empty. And I have yet another thing tick off my list. One more to go. So how's your uh, website getting along? It's actually getting along pretty good, slowly but surely. I forgot how long websites take to pimp up, let's say. But yeah, it's well, getting there. Your to-do wasn't to finish it this weekend. Your to-do no. was to do as much as you can, right? Exactly. Is there any chance of sneak and peek for the people who are watching this or not really? Just a quick one. Just a quick one? Right, let's have a look. So what are they allowed to see? They're allowed to see this. This is my home page. Ah. Mm -hmm. You're getting there, aren't you? Getting there, slowly, slowly but surely. Yes. A few new services coming as well, I hear. You know it, but yeah. that's a surprise. Little birdie told me. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm working my way through my website. It's looking pretty nice. Another thing to tick off the list. <laughs> All right. Done. So, as uh, probably most of you have noticed, um, the spring clean fell through the net. For now, we are going to get to the spring clean. However, the weather treated us very nicely. 
So we enjoyed the extra time off and you know had a few drinks and had some food. So all is good with us. We're just human beings like anyone else. We have our priorities. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, week's insight to our life. Um, hope we brought a couple of smiles to your faces. Yes, and I would like to take a couple of seconds to thank all the people who are working for us to keep us safe. And that's from the doctors, the nurses, the people who are working at the pharmacies, and also the people at post office and supermarkets, stacking shelves, everybody. So really thank you guys so, so much. It means a lot. You guys are sacrificing your health to keep us safe. Thank yeah, you very huge much. thank you to all of you guys. So with the Swiss government announcing the exit strategy from the lockdown today, we thought about how we're going to get out of this as individuals and we thought it might be a good idea to share these thoughts, uh, put them down and maybe come up with some ideas on what might have changed for the future. So that's it from us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed and of course I hope we can see you next week. Alright guys, bye! bye.